Welcome to Electron Line. Here again, when we take a look at this, this is the product of two binomials, we should be able to see that as being nothing more than a more complicated version of the following one, a plus b times a minus b. And so the result of this would be the first term squared minus the second term squared. So what do we do over here? The exact same thing. This is equal to the first term squared minus the second term squared. We just go ahead and take this whole thing here as just a single term. And notice we have a 1 over 2 quantity squared. Well, 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4. We can factor that out. So this can be written as, if I square this, I get 16x squared minus 1 quarter, what we have left in the numerator, 2y minus z squared. Notice 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4, and I can factor that out. Now I simply have a binomial squared there. We know what to do with that. This is equal to 16x squared minus a quarter times the first term squared, which is 4y squared, plus the last term squared, plus z squared, times 2 times the product of these two. That would be a minus 2yz times 2, which is a minus 4yz. And then I can, that can I multiply the minus 1 fourth with each term that's inside there. So this would be 16x squared. 1 4 times 4, that's 1. So this becomes minus y squared. 1 4 times 4 is 1, but a minus times a minus is a plus yz. And finally, not minus 1 fourth times that gives us a minus 1 fourth times z squared. And so that would then be the result of the product that we have there. Again, a lot easier to do when you recognize this to be no more than a more complicated form of this particular type of product. That's why it's done the very same way.